In Premiere, if we drop any image here, you will see the shatter effect or break effect is created. And in After Effects, after selecting your layer, if you click here, you can see it has broken. And if you want to break only parts of it, you can do something like this. Hello, welcome my friend. In today's video, we will learn how to break everything very easily. Yes, you heard it right. We can break any object with just one click. And for this, we will be using Adobe After Effects in Premiere Pro. This effect is quite popular. It is often used in ads or documentary video editing. Nidish Rajput also used this effect in one of his videos. You can use this effect anywhere. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so in today's video, we are going to break everything. And for that, you will need a plugin called Break It. You need to install it, and it's from eScript.com. You can find it by searching on Google. You can download it from the eScript.com website, and it's very easy to break anything with it. So first, what you need to do is take the image you want to create a composition. Then go to Windows, and from there, go to Extensions, where you will find Break It. Simply select this layer and go to Break It. Just click here. It will take a little time, and you will get the result here. You can play it and see. As you can see, it has broken with just one click. It's completely broken. Now, if you want to customize it, you can see I'll turn off the transparency here. Play it again and see. Now, suppose you want the duration to be extended and you want it to break a little later. You can do that also. You'll see an option here. First, let's extend this. Drag this mark here. If you adjust this wherever, it will break after that duration. Play it again and you'll see it starts breaking from there. Now, suppose you want it to only break partially and not fully, like in advertising or documentary video editing, where you want to show only a part of the image breaking. Then what you need to do this, just go to the pen tool or press G to bring up the pen tool and draw a mask here. You'll see that as I make adjustments, the mask will expand as much as you draw it. Now play it and you will see only that part has broken. Now, suppose you want to break it from here as well, then you can do that since we didn't select it earlier, you need to select the shape and then undo the action, select image again, and apply the mask. Now play it, and you'll see it's breaking from both sides. Now suppose you want it to break from one place first, then another, and so on. You can adjust the composition and delete what you've done before. Now take the Premiere Pro logo this time, scale it down a bit. If you want it to break into three pieces, just type three here. Now the timeline will show three breakpoints. You can display and see the result. You'll notice all parts break at once, but we can change the mask to control when each piece breaks. You can add a mask here using the pen tool, drag it to where you want it to break, and expand the break to your desired area. Now let's play and see the result. As you can see, only the specific part has broken. This effect can be further customized by changing its direction in the effect controls. You can adjust the force to change where it starts breaking from, like from the bottom or from the side, and it will give a different result. For Premiere Pro users who don't use After Effects, there's a preset available for you that I will provide. You can install it and use it in Premiere Pro to break objects with ease. Just download it from the link in the description, and you'll also find it on our Discord server. In Premiere Pro, once you've downloaded the preset, install it, and you can apply the break effect to any image or text by just dropping it here. Adjust the size and position as needed. Now, if you want to break text, there's another preset for that, which you can drag and drop into the timeline. Customize the text, font, size, and color, and you'll have a fully functional break effect for your text as well. You can adjust the speed and timing of the effect by using the rate stretch tool to increase or decrease the duration. And if you want to learn realistic bounce animations, make sure to watch this video. And if you are interested in documentary video editing, don't miss the complete playlist. I promise to bring more useful videos for you and you have to like, share, and comment on the video. Till then, keep editing and unleash the creative in you. Bye.